We're starting off this part of the training with a look at the photo merge options. Now, inside of the editor, photo merge is hiding over here under the enhance menu. I'm not really sure why it's under edit menu on the organizer and enhance menu in the editor, but that's where it is. Starting off here, we'll look at the group shot. Now, what this is used for is taking pictures of people or any other group of objects that you want. And you know how frequently you're taking a, a picture of a group of people and somebody blinks or somebody sneezes, somebody looks the wrong way, and it kind of ruins the whole shot? You can fix that with this quick little photo merge. All you have to do is make sure you take two or three shots so that you have a good shot of at least everybody in one of those pictures, and you can then merge those together, the best parts of those together. For instance, I have two shots here. There's some little paper models here of some drones from the Silent Running movie way back when. In this one, this guy's looking off to the right and he's not lined up properly. In the second one, he's looking off and he's also not lined up properly. So by merging these two together, I can have all three drones looking forward using this photo merge technique. First thing you do is you hold the control key down and select out of your photo bin. So they have to be open files. Select out of your photo bin the two or three files you want to use for your merge. I, I normally just have two. It's all I, you normally need to use. Go up to the Enhance menu and Photo Merge Group Shot. Now this is going to go through. It's going to compare the two pictures. It's going to align the pictures up. As you notice, these are handheld shots, so they're a little bit off. But Photo Merge will solve that. They will align those two pictures. Okay, here's the first picture. This is the source, and that's the left picture here. Then take your picture that you're going to, and that's your final picture, and move it over here. So my source picture is right here, and that has this little guy looking in the wrong direction. The final has this guy looking in the wrong direction. Now these two are correct, so all I need to do is I need to fix this person here. What you do is you take the pencil tool, you can adjust the size of the pencil here, little slider control. You can see the size of the pencil. There it is. Go a little larger on that. Okay, they're going to easily see that. And simply draw around what it is that you want to move from here over to here. And then Photoshop Elements will do the movement for you and adjust everything so it blends in properly. So I'm just going to draw a little, little thing right around this guy here. And then once you finish that, Elements will jump in and it will start to do the move. And there it is. You see there is the this little piece here moved over here right on top of the other one because it's basically the same position and I now have all three of these looking forward and notice that it also matched the exposure and the colors in here as well so it doesn't look funny it isn't kind of greenish as we have over here it is now a perfect match and I have all three of these little toys facing forward as I wanted them so as you can see real easy to do simply take two pictures and then you can just merge them together. Again, the, the whole trick here, especially if you're working with a group of people, is make sure you always take two shots of whatever group it is that you're looking at, you know, one after another. That way, if somebody blinks in one, you can always fix that with the second shot. When you're done, just click on Done, and it's then going to finalize the photo merge and crop the picture in as well. And there's our, our crop handles, as you can see here. Just resize that a little bit. And there's our final shot. Real nice, neat, and clean. Now we're going to adjust the exposure on this a little later on in one of our later demonstrations. So there you go. That is the photo merge group shot. I've just reloaded the program here off screen with some more pictures and another way here of doing a photo merge. In this case I took just the one little model and I'm going to make multiples of this model in one picture by photo merging or making a new group shot using just the one in this case you know one model or you could do one person. All you have to do again is have your camera locked off in one shot, one position, take several shots and then move to different, picture, different spots in the same shot. Let's see how this works. Again I had these all selected as you can see down there, Enhance, and Photo Merge, and Group Shot. This shows you how you can actually do more than one 
picture in your group shot. So here's our source is the first one right there. And I'll scroll down here and I'll use the last picture as my final. Here we go. So back to the source. Let me just erase that out. There we go. Pencil tool. And I'll come in and I'll just kind of just come in here pretty tight on this guy this time. And we'll let the program figure this out. Now it's covering up my other image, so I may need to do a little bit of a readjustment on that to get just the effect that I'll maybe I, I can come back in and I can show you how to do that. You actually can come in and work with this on layers. Let's click our next source, and that's right here. Notice that each one of these sources has an outline in color around it so I can see which one I'm working with. Now this will fit in just fun. This is not going to overlap anything. Pull that one in. There we go. Let's go to our next source. And this one has kind of a green outline around it. And we'll bring that one in. So there's those three. And there's one hiding down below here which is being covered up by this one. So I'll leave it as is. We're going to do the final merge and then we'll take a look at the layers on this merge. So let's click on Done. And there we go. There's the photo merge. Now the coloration is a little off on that. I could come in and fudge around the coloration if I wanted to and get that improved. But we've actually made a merge here and we have three of the same model. Looks as if I had three shots. Let's now bring up our Layers menu. And here's our background layer and here's the foreground layer. What I can do now is to bring my opacity down a little bit on the top layer. And then I can see where these layers are overlapping. See that? And I can then erase out of the top layer a spot just enough to match this underneath layer. So I'm going to zoom in on this. And let's take care of that overlap. Now the easy way to do this is to I'm going to double click here first to make sure that's unlocked. There we go. I'm going to come in and grab my polygonal lasso tool here and I'll just make a selection right around this guy and get just the part that I want. And he just comes straight across the back here like that. And we'll just come in and get right down the side. Luckily on this one, it's pretty easy to do this overlap because he has hard edges. There you go. Just go a little bit off screen there, a little bit off the picture. You actually can have this scroll a little bit. So there we go. That is the overlapped area. I can now delete that out. Let's just hit the, move this layer, hit the delete key deletes that out. I can finish the rest off down here using just the eraser tool. And let's deselect that. Use the eraser tool and take care of the rest of this. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cutting a hole into this layer to show that other layer in behind. And let's just get that foot right there. There we go. Okay, let's come back to our top layer. I'll put that back up to 100% opacity. There we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. And there's that other one sitting right on top in the same position. Now, I might want to come in and just be a little careful on cleaning up the edges and so forth and you know fix some of the coloration blurs and all that. But there is using that same group shot instead of fixing you know, one group, a couple different shots. I'm actually using that group shot tool to combine several pictures and create a group out of just one person or in this case one toy.